Hey guys, and today we are going to be talking about the top 10 teams to rebuild in Madden 22. He's got murder you if you make eye contact. Like, what's going on? If you step within five feet, you burst into flames. It's Green Bay week, man. I can't actually get my freaking huge head in there. All right, Raphael. You freaking ninja turtle. Let's punch this baby in. They're gonna have to call Child Protective Services because we're punching this baby right in. Other guys from Alabama. You guys don't really know English too well anyway, so you might not have even noticed that. He's only 25 and he's black. Whoa, okay. Super young Ed Reed. Yeah. Oh my God. I am going to have nightmares forever. What is going on? I don't like anything about it. I get me out of there. I've just got chills after that. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm not gonna be okay. Hapa Lilo Faka Hafua Orchard. It's a Polynesian powerhouse. Robert Griffin the third. And now Amon Ross St. Brown is Amon Ross St. Down? Um if the Queen had balls, she'd be king. But I need them to. Look at the ref humping my freaking free safety. Haul into the backfield. Nice tackle! We need to hold strong for about 10 seconds. Usually, I can't last that long. Our defense has played really, really well, which you love to see. Okay. He just got sent to the Shadow Realm. Bruce Clemens can deliver some shots. He's like the best bartender on the planet. This San Diego State crowd is getting fired up. Nearly as raucous as the crowd you'll see at the newly renovated Carrier Dome in Syracuse, New York. Just get beat by Rudolph again, man. Freaking red-nosed reindeer killing us. I hate these freaking Aztecs. Yeah, that's what the Conquistador said, and then they killed him with viruses. Now, this is a name I was not familiar with. Bo, Lil Bo Pete? Who, who is this? This dude's name is Adonis. That's so sick. This one's close, but not quite Jaden. Need an L, which is what we're taking with this video. Okay, not ideal. There are two Jalens in the entire class, and one of them is like... Somebody is dyslexic and was telling you how to spell Jalen. Actually, I might need to go back in free agency and get Colin Kaepernick. Because if we take a knee every snap, we won't score any points on offense. That's actually a great idea. I live such a dangerous life that the... Biggest thing that can harm me on a day-to-day -day basis is a specific color of light. That's my fun and exciting in life. Oh, we got Matt LeBlanc. We got Joey from Friends. It, his name literally is Matt LeBlanc. Uh, cue the laugh track, because that's hilarious, dude. I love the laugh track in Friends, honestly, because as an idiot myself, it's really helpful to know when to laugh. Because I go, oh, that's a joke. I mean, I'm a moron. He does a 15 injury. So he's at least going to be healthy while he sucks. And who is this? Mormon Mahomes? <laughs> is that what he changed his name? Okay, nice. Uh, that is funny to me. But the defense is really improved. It still sucks. Like, it's like putting makeup on a pig. It's still a pig, but I, I can, you know, have enough drinks in me. I could be fooled. I, listen. No rivers long enough doesn't contain a bend. I could be tricked as easily as the next guy. And he's wearing 24. Disgusting. I gotta change that. Darrell Revis would be rolling over in his grave. Hold on, I'm receiving word. Darrell Revis not dead. Interesting. Uh, my mistake. Fumbling isn't either uh, fun. Uh, f uh, fumbling isn't fun either, though. So I had a little bit of a stroke there, but I just had a stroke of genius. I have the opportunities to, to stop them. Craig Jackson, I don't know what that was after the tackle. It was the craziest devil-worshipping crap I've ever seen. Somebody call a freaking witch doctor or a priest. We need to perform an exorcism on Craig Jackson after the game. If he can play with that devil magic during the game, I'm down. But I, I, I digress. We'll move on here. Uh, no way or no reason to beat a dead horse or a dead wife and a waiter. Let's simulate to the uh, mid-season mark. I'm going crazy. I mean, balls don't get much better than that. 
It's not a Manscaped sponsored video, by the way, but keep them clean. And uh, go to manscaped.com slash bangles. Save yourself some money on balls like that. That was a duck. That thing was quacking wide right. Saquon is going to die on the field, probably. Hate to say it, but he's 41 years old. And I think a heart attack is in play. I'm not going to lie. He's been in the league for 20 years. He plays running back. It's amazing his knees still work. What are you going to do, brother? When the New York Giants come for you, brother, dude. The hall monitor met him right in the gap. And I guess Russell showed him his hall pass. And there's going to be a foul. Face mask. Face mask. Defense. Defense. Yep, definitely no other quarterbacks who have ever worn number seven for the Steelers. No one named after a clock. No one who was particularly big. No one who liked consensual. Well, whatever. This is tough. This is tough. They're going to run the ball. Are you conceding defeat? Maybe not. Dude, I'm not even hit sticking. Bruce Clemens tracks him down. Oh, 50 yards. What the fuck is that? And for the first time, Riverside is ranked. Oh my goodness. I have a bag of pistachios on my elbow. What is this? I'm a witch. Don't put me in Salem, Massachusetts. They'll hang me. Dude. The bag just caught on my, <laughs> my hoodie sleeve. You know what's funny? Uh, they had a great test for finding out if you were a witch back in Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, is if uh, they killed you, it turns out you weren't a witch. If you could survive being hanged, or being stoned to death, or having a bunch of rocks on your chest, ah, hey, we got one wrong. Turns out this one also wasn't a witch. Probably the worst test ever to find out if someone's a witch. Well, we'll just kill you, and if you, if you survive, you're a witch. In which case, you're screwed, by the way, because it's a witch. They're going to kill you. Uh, but second of off, or sec second off, uh, no one ever survived, because there aren't witches. And, and unless I'm one. So did he just, did my quarterback just lie to motivate the guys? It's a leader right there. The quarterback wearing seven for Big Ben, I'm cool with that because I know it makes some of you mad and that makes me laugh. It is what it is. S-O-C-K-S, which is just, uh, I mean, it basically it is what it is in Spanish. Also sucks if you spelled it out. Um, plus guy riding a grocery cart. I don't know what this is. A little moped type thing. Is calling Sam Cosme Fat Baker Mayfield in the right ballpark? It's in the, maybe it's in the right city in terms of being accurate. There's something there. Nobody's going to want you. Ugly. A running back named Scooby. He's freaking Scooby-Doo, one offensive rookie of the year. You are not going to wear 23. I'll give you a 52. I can't think of anyone on the Ravens that's ever worn that. You know, I say that from time to time and he'll go, Ray Lewis? Well, you don't know who Ray Lewis is? It's like, uh, I'm not being serious. Of course I would know the guy that murdered people in the league. Obviously. I know OJ Simpson, don't I? It's the same thing. Except the timeline's different. The only, like, interceptions, only mistake was just me being an idiot for fun. <laughs> but Tom Brady and the two tight end sets. Big with the Patriots for a number of years. Whether it was uh, Martellus Bennett with Gronk or a murderer. As Bowley can't make the big hit. And Amani Warrior turned into a, a break dancer. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Little Tony. That's what Tony Soprano called his Don. Oh, uh, you think we're in a nightclub bathroom with all these bumps? Could you understand that I said nightclub? Fuck that one up, huh? Look him horns, right? Eehaw. Eehaw. It's Herbert Gums Jr. <laughs> Herbert Gums, dude. That guy definitely doesn't suck, although you might expect it. Why is he playing where he can get four interceptions when I have Kendall Fuller, Dante Jackson, and William Jackson? And Mike, how many Jacksons do I have? Not enough, probably. I feel like uh, Michael Jackson's dad. Yeah, Joe Jackson, where he just abused my kids and screaming at them to sing to make me money. That's pretty much what I'm doing in, in Madden, honestly, running this team. Also, Jonathan Allen is now Superstar X-Factor. 
And it's like his eyes. I don't know if you can see this on mobile, but his eyes, for some reason in the picture, are cut out. Like the whites of his eyes. So you can see straight through to the Superstar X Factor background, and he just looks like the devil. But you know what? If he plays like he's possessed by the devil, I think our defense is going to take another step in the right direction. Double Dallas will never lose the game again. Can't go wrong with double D's for big D. That's, this might be the wrong website for that. Always nice to draft a superstar dev player. And Malik Willis does have that superstar potential, even if his hair hasn't gotten the memo. What's going on up there? That's normal development hair. That is, this looks ridiculous. Uh, as you can see, it is floating around his head. It's never good. The cat in the hat. Eh. He has actual bricks where his hand should be. Imagine, listen, if you're somewhere with access to bricks, I don't know where that would be. Go ahead, tape them to your hands. Daniel Jones probably isn't going to be your guy going forward, but he could be. He could be. You know, anything could happen, right? Like, the sky could rain cows tomorrow. It could happen, maybe, but it probably isn't going to happen. So the offense, you have some fun pieces, even though Evan Ingram really couldn't catch... Chlamydia at a whorehouse. He's actually really, really good in Madden. But you could play with him, and he'd be a lot of fun to play with in uh, in franchise. And it, that's probably exactly what he told all those massage therapists, that he's a lot of fun to play with. And he, he made them play with them. I'm just going to put myself in the middle of the screen because I know it's going to bother some. You know what's going to bother some even more? If I just held the camera the entire episode. Just had it right here. <laughs> Yeah, guys, we're going to take a look at the uh, the roster here. Playing the Eagles. They had an 81 overall offense. We've got a 93. They've got a 73 overall defense. We have a 93. That makes them a 77 overall. Whereas we, you guys are going to be shocked by this. 93 overall team. It, oh, this is actually a keeper, man. Ah, that's a good. Oh, football came out. Though that was not a coherent sentence that I put together because so many crazy things happened. Cowboys, Texans, Saints, and Falcons is NFC Yeehaw. But this is more the Yeehaw range. And this is not so much, but it's the name of the division. So it is what am I drawing penis? Hold on. Ignore that. It was one in the wheel out out of the backfield. Goal. Chargers. Goal. And Washington football gets a field goal. Washington football. Not even, they're not even a team. They're just a football from Washington, D.C. What are you going to do when Reggie Gonzalez starts doing whatever this is at you?